What up, it's War Chief, and today I'm going to show you how to route audio from machine into Ableton. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, what you're going to need is your machine. You're going to use it as a plugin. So, go to your plugins in Ableton down here to machine 2, drag it over to the MIDI. It's going to open up right here. So, what you're going to need to do is let's uh, first exit out of that go to your audio and we're going to duplicate it press command d and then press shift and get both tracks highlighted and press command g to group and we're going to rename our group so command r sorry about all these shortcuts i'm there for you to help you out we're going to name it drums and then this first one command r we're going to name it kick and then the second one, command R and is snare. Okay, we're only gonna work with kick and snare. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I just show you how to route um, the audio from machine to Ableton. I use this all the time. It really helps with drum patterns. If I don't know a certain drum pattern, I'll load in a drum pattern and be like, oh, so that's how you do it. All right, so go back to machine. And uh, let's just pick a preset kit. Let's pick diamond kit. Let's go to the controller, mute everything, but the kick and snare and the hi-hat. Let's leave the hi-hat too. That's way, 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 way better. Let's turn down the BPM to 120. Just make it even all right now what you're going to do on your kick you see your kick right here kick snare hi-hat on your kick you want to go up here you see where the little plug-in is above that you're going to want to click the it's looks like a little you see yeah it looks like this micro thing where you do the micros all right well you get to this point and then you're going to want to press the output and it, the audio where it says destination you're going to want to exit two don't do one because one is machine software itself i'll show you what i mean um so you press two for the kick snare do the same thing go to three hi-hat do the same thing go to four so you're uh routing your out and then if when you're done with that press the x you go to uh you're Ableton, and I'm going to make another track for the hi-hat, rename hi-hat, and then on your kick, where it says exit in, you're gonna wanna click down and go to machine two, and then where it says post mixer, you're gonna want to go to three and four. And then on your snare, go to down to machine, and then five, six, and then hi-hat, go to machine, seven, eight, so. And then they're all routed in. So let's record this into machine. So what you're gonna wanna do is press the record button. We're gonna wanna record all of these. See how it's only going to one each? If you press command and then click on the other ones, you'll be able to tag all your records. And then uh, let's stop it and then press record. And then stop that and then where it says in go to just click it to audio and it will fill in with your uh, your audio audio clip and then you can see how they made this and it's pretty cool and then we'll just solo the drums and that there you go and that's how you route audio from machine to ableton it's kind of confusing i know i <laughs> i was confused the first time i did it it the confusing part i think is when you're in machine and you uh you put these audios to exit like four 
two, three, and four, and then when you go into uh, when you go into Ableton, you when you route it, it says three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it goes all the way up to thirty-two. I think that's the confusing part for some people. But if you just go in order, say like, say you have 16 or 15 or 16, how many is here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, because they never count one. You're missing that 16th pad from the machine. So if you have 15 different sounds, just go in order and you should be okay. If you just go kick, snare, hi-hat, and just keep stacking them, stacking them, and you have a big project, that's the easiest. And another way to do this, if you don't want to do the uh, drums separately, you just want them all in one thing, what you can do is, let's close this. I will get an audio. Okay. Go to, just go to machine and press record. And before you do that, so you're going to have to go back to your machine. You're going to want to put it to master. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's it's uh, been a early morning. <laughs> so you set these back to master. And it's going to play like a normal loop. And then you, you can have it on in or auto. And then we will record this in. But I really like the how you can separate them. It's kind of confusing, but after you get into the habit of doing it so many times, you'll be like, "Oh, dude, this is easy, and this is this is helps you out." Because I know how drum loops like you'll be trying to read a drum loop, be like, "Man, how did they get that pattern down?" And you won't be able to figure it out sometimes. But in machine, you can like you can record in all the separate parts, and then pick out. The ones you want individually and i think that is a really 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 strong production like tip because that could help you tremendously excuse me that could help you tremendously in uh programming drums and i think it is an amazing technique and i feel like machine is uh ableton oh well, machine is ableton's little brother because they work really good together and that that's it for this one thank you so much and i uh just want to let you guys know that i'm going to keep on making machine and ableton tutorials and i really like the machine software and i'm saving up i am saving up for the mk3 machine i'll probably do an unboxing when i get it probably be late and then i'll do a review on it and so and so and so and so so uh thank you thank you so much i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching the video click the like button if you liked it comment below telling me if you thought this was uh pretty educational <laughs> i think it was it helps me out a lot and uh yeah i will catch you guys on the next video and have an amazing day See ya.